But Jen, as you know, you worked at the State Department, you're now at the White House. As you know, it's one thing to be discreet and not release all the information to the public for sensitive reasons, whether it's classified or diplomacy or whatever, but it's another thing to flat out lie to the news media and to the American public, which is what your predecessor, Victoria Nuland, did when she was asked back in 2013 whether or not there were secret bilateral government to government negotiations going on with Iran and she said no that was that was a lie right well, Wolf, I think you'd have to speak to my predecessor about that. What I can tell you is that what I was doing, not just that day when this question was asked, the fact is a week before this, I proactively talked through every aspect of the back channel at the State Department briefing. But, but then there was this subsequent, when you were the State Department spokeswoman, subsequent exchange you had with James Rosen of Fox when he asked why Victoria Nuland had lied about those direct bilateral negotiations. So the, the accusation against you, Jenna, and I want to give you a chance to respond, is that uh, you were defending that earlier lie from Victoria Nuland. Well, I, again, I think you can speak to Toria or anyone else about what she knew or didn't know about the negotiations. The, the point being, though, that it's one thing not to release all of the information you need for national security reasons or diplomacy or whatever. It's another thing to actually lie to the news media and to the American public uh, as a result of that. Uh, do, is it ever justified? This is my final question because I know you got to run. Is it ever justified for a U.S. government spokesperson to lie to the American people? I think that's a, a fundamental value that I have always followed is not to uh, and providing as much information as you possibly can.